I am Stirmir. I am an artist of many disciplines. I make music and performances and I also make objects. Uh, I welcome you to my exhibition Earth, Water, Air, Fire in which I have decided due to the circumstances of last year to become that traditional. So I have produced a picture show. At the start of the exhibition you have a choice to go either into the darkness or to get out of the dark tunnel and enter the brightness. What you hear sounding inside the space is a soundtrack made by my organs. It's a registration of performances done by the organ orchestra. Um, I use these ceramic objects and a loop station and I layer them together so that they are functioning like parts in a machine, the human organs, vital organs. Earth, water, air, fire are ancient concepts that people from all corners of the world have used to describe everything there is and this was an excellent starting point for me and so I have created uh, these fantasy landscapes uh, that uh, entail all these concepts of earth, water, air and fire within. In my making, city and language are the main axis. I start my art making from observation in the city environment. Through walking around the city, I try to find any interesting point by photographing. Then I abstract any shapes, colors, structures, or any other element by drawing on paper. This image looks like sign. I think it's just like a character of language invented through my perspective and subjective view as a personal alphabet. This exhibition, titled Post Language Realm, was executed by basing on observation of the city landscape in Berlin. I made drawings, then <laughs> transform some drawing image into various media like a 3D object, painting, mural animation, signboard, and advertisement product like a light box. I made one installation work by composing these artworks. There is a particular Duration in which extracted elements from reality are symbolized and then return to reality again. It means the reconstruction of reality by this sign system. Presented work is one potential realm of our reality and also realm of an alternative form of language. During the last uh, year, I was um, uh, working in this idea of uh, cultura prophylactica, which I presented here in this show. Uh, cultura prophylactica installation is divided in a block of two uh, works. One is in the uh, handmade text installation, bringing the dimension of linguistic uh, things coming from the socialist uh, implementation by the state in Cuba. And the other one, are the iconographic dimension that I also extracted from political magazines and uh, military magazines. I have a very uh, interest, uh, I'm very interested in the, um, in the original material that is created by the government, but uh, reconverted today in the dimension 
of the actual condition that we live in Cuba. This reconversion, this retranslation, this um, re-addition of reality of the specific uh, condition, it's bringing uh, with this uh, two dimension, linguistic and in the other side, uh, iconographic. So all the original material are reconverted into reality and with the same materials that I have in the reality. A ruler, a pencil, or even uh, original uh, normal paper that reconvert that, that uh, specific iconographic tradition. Cultura prophylactica is uh, based in that term, prophylaxis, that came from the medical term that at the same time is used in the military and police terms in Cuba. Uh, prophylactic, uh, as you can understand, is um, a prevention. So propaganda at the same time is talking about the idea of prevention. Do not and cannot are different. The title means that we have the free will to do something. Uh, through my show, I wanted to rethink the role of artwork, artist, and form of exhibition. I asked myself if we can clearly divide control and freedom and existence and non-existence and reality and virtuality. In the show, there are only fans and banners, but there is no image on the world. The fence makes the pathway to lead the visitor to the next space. The fence is two meters high and they fill the whole exhibition area. The pathway controls the viewer's movement. Fena has the image from my former photography shows titled Photography, Illusions, and Space. The works were all photographed and printed on the banners. So they are showing now, and here is the same space, and another show. Fena is the semi-transparent, so view my see the image overlapped with the actual exhibition space. Fans and banner limit the view and physical movement of the viewer. Two years elapsed between the third and fourth act is my first solo exhibition in Berlin. It's an exhibition that comprises of a film work, a 20 minute film work titled Understudies and a series of textile works. The textile works appear both within the space and also in the film as a kind of uh, secondary actor. The film Understudies is about two things, interrelated topics to do with the idea of performance. Firstly, the rehearsal. Uh, the idea of repetitive practices in which one prepares for a performance and expanding that idea to understand it as something that happens not only in the theatre but also in everyday life as a way that we repeat uh, actions and words in order to prepare for potential future fantastic embodiment. It's also uh, a critique of the idea of the actress, the trope of the actress and so the film really contains uh, seven uh, incredible femme performers, all dissolving dominant narratives about who the actress might be. The textile works are the first time that I've worked with uh, textiles or exhibited textiles. They appear in the film as backgrounds behind the actresses that are constantly changed as they all rehearse uh, Nina's monologue from Chekhov's The Seagull. They're very improvised, they're very temporary in their kind of materiality. And that's, uh, that's to continue this idea of, of or interest that I have in staging and persona and the theatre being everywhere. 